Hello, welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers, Chris McGee, James Worthy, Robert Ory. We've got Allie Clifton over here. You'll hear from her soon. We've got Brez and Trudell work in the locker room. Guys, the Lakers get back to 500 at Staples Center. They get the win over the Chicago Bulls. Was an easy big game, but they shot 51% from the field, 41% from three, and scored 117 points and won by two. I, fun game. I Entertaining thought, game. I, as long I as you actually win. enjoy watching the entire game. <laughs> it was a fun game to watch. Uh, you knew on a back-to-back -back game that the Lakers were going to be challenged uh, without AD. Uh, and, and Rob said it at the, in the pregame show. He said it was going to take a very good bench tonight. Mm. And that's what they came up with. You know, uh, Chicago, young. Uh, you know, they're a young team playing hard. You know, they, they got a lot to prove. They, they came in here and played well. Uh, but I thought the, the bench, I thought the defense in spurts uh, was really well. And uh, I know Rob is going to talk about Montrose Harrell, so I'll, I'll save that for him. He's got a big old <laughs> smile on his face, doesn't he? That's his boy. Hold on, that, that, that was your... Man, it, you know, it's, that, it's a, that was your pick? Yeah, it's, it's amazing how when you use a guy, what they can do. Montrez is one of those type of guys. He's just a gritty, grimy guy who's going to score points in the paint, gets offensive rebounds, and I'm going to use James where he's just like the muck up stuff. And when he's doing that, he's really efficient. If you look at what he does in the paint, he never jumps that high unless he's trying to dunk. But he quick shoot, he, he does a little quick jump shot that goes in that nobody can stop. So I'm happy for him tonight. Seals, I need to see more of this. Position. Who was your take your shot for the people in the back? I had um, Dennis. Oh, I thought you had Montrez Harrell. Didn't you have Montrez? Nah. Who had Trez? <laughs> Caruso. No, I had no one had Trez. No one had Trez. We, we took man, I should have taken Trez, <laughs> man. <laughs> I can't be like Ali and pick the same guy all the time. I thought for sure you took him. All right, let's hear from Trez. He's with Mike Trudell. <laughs> for sure you took him. Hey, Montrez, how about that play call to just get Dennis Schroeder the ball and let him run around uh, to kill the clock there when you make that final play, man? Hey, when you got a player that moves that fast and, uh, you know, with such a high speed and velocity that Dennis moves at, and you can just, you know, kill the clock without even have to, you know, really shoot free throws or any, you know, mishaps coming to the game, man. Hey, we'll take it. <laughs> hey, no Anthony Davis tonight, and you were really eating inside, especially in the second half. What was your mindset coming into this one, Montrez, against the Bulls? Um, just playing hard, man. Same thing my mindset is every night. Um, trying to make the game as easy as I can for my teammates. Um, you know, and definitely just standing around the rim on the offensive glass. On uh, the defensive presence, man, they hit a lot of shots tonight, man. Uh, you know, some tough ones, some we had deep, uh, defensive breakdown coverages and things like that, but I feel like they hit a lot of tough shots tonight. But, you know, we we hung in there, we fought the way to the end, and we came out with a big time win. Uh, you know, we didn't want to come on and lose two in a row. Um, so we definitely just toned in the way we wanted to do and came out with a win. Hey, you guys haven't had a lot of possession by possession crunch time games so far this season. What's it like being on the court with LeBron? Uh, obviously, one of the best to ever do it in that situation. Uh, what did you see from him down the stretch? Um, he's a winner, man, a closer. Uh, you know, a guy who knows how to play this game, and uh, he knows, um, you know, almost. I, I, I'm not even going to say almost. I feel like he knows everything and, you know, everywhere everyone's supposed to be, um, both offensively and defensively. So um, he's definitely going to go down as, as one of his game's greats. And, um, you know, when you're on the floor with somebody like that, you can't help but feed off the energy and, and all the tenacity and, and the different things, uh, charisma that he brings to the game, man. So, um, you know, he's our leader. Um, we was down a leader today in AD, man. But Brian did a great job, came out here and led us, and, you know, we got to win. All right, last thing for you. You're somebody that's always thrived off the crowd. How do you still find a way to bring that energy and give your team a lift off the bench when you can't look up there and, and get the response to the screams that you have after a rebound or a putback or whatever? Uh, it's still the same exact energy um, because my teammates are in here, man. These guys are rooting for me, man. Uh, everybody that's still on that sideline as far as coaching staff and, you know, the medical staff that we have um, alongside our camp, man. So uh, it's still the same type of energy, man. Uh, we got to create our own energy uh, in a lot of these places because, you know, they don't have fans. You know, we may go to a couple of cities that have fans, but majority of the nights is going to be like this. So I try to be the one that brings that energy. Um, and just like I said, I hope my teammates do a great job of feeding off me, and usually they do. All right, Trez, we appreciate it. Thank you. All right, good stuff, Mike. Uh, Montrez Harrell, let's talk him right off the bat, and then we'll talk a little LeBron as well. You guys mentioned the bench, 41 points. They were huge. Montrez, 17 and 14, 7 to 13. It's those seven offensive boards too, James. And, and you talked about how he gets shots up so quick. He just knows how to use his body. He seals. He's got good hands. But tonight it was the effort, the, the coming over from, help, uh, from the weak side, Big blocking block. a shot, uh, taking charges. Whatever it took tonight, Trez had his game. I tell kids all the time, 
I, you know, when, they, when they're trying out for high school teams, I said, you want to impress the coach, you want to make the team, you go and get every rebound you can possibly get in practice. It's, you know, just effort. This guy is a disruptor. And when you develop a style of game like he has, you get away with a lot of physical play. He gets, not that he fouls, but he is extremely physical. And what he does is he uplifts the team. When you miss a shot, you're down two or something, you miss a shot and you get an extra possession. My phone's going off, Rob. <laughs> uh, you get an extra possession. Uh, it just uplifts the team. And now that they see, I, I saw him in Louisville. Uh, he used to tear my Tar Heels up. He was the vocal part of the offense. They used to go to him, and those ISO moves is what he's good at. Uh, and I think they give him four or five of those plays a game, they're going to get some big production out of him. He's a, he's a, he's, he reminds me of Dennis Rodman. You're, he's just going to outwork you. You'd rather play somebody who scores like a score who takes time off. My trans doesn't take a playoff, and it makes it impossible to guard him. You know, Rob, you always bring up a great point. We have fun with it. You do talk about Montrez Harrell a lot, but when they do feed him and he does get going and you just give him a few opportunities, then you see what happens the rest of the game. He's a guy that's going to work on both ends. He's going to get He's not selfish. He's going to get extra opportunities. He's not asking for the ball. But if you can run some things for him and get him a few easy ones, he's going to have one of those games. Every you know, we, we call it, you got to give a big, a little sugar mm -hmm. every now and then to make him work even harder. With Montrez, sometimes I'm like giving the ball, but he's still working hard. I haven't seen him take any plays off. And so that's where my love for him comes because there's many times where he rolls, he's open, he doesn't get the ball. He hasn't complained once, at least I haven't seen it. And that's what you have to respect about a guy. He's still going to go out there and work and try to get offensive rebound, try to set good pick and rolls, and just be a good team player. When you have a guy who's a workhorse like that and he has a particular skill set, you have to exploit that skill set. And his skill set in the paint is like no other. You know, as we move over to LeBron James, I feel like we run out of ways to talk about him. But when you do watch him every single night, you see that – you know, here he is with 28 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, but he's 0 for 5 from 3 tonight. So he get, does it another way. Now he's hitting turnaround jumpers in the corner or he's getting into the paint. Lakers were desperate for a bucket only up 2. Gets to the paint, gets fouled. Missed the free throw, 6 of 8 tonight. But still, James, he's just going to get it done. That's what LeBron James does, and he did it again tonight, 36 years old. Yeah, if anybody needs a night off, it's LeBron James. And I'm sure when he came to the arena tonight and realized that AD wasn't going to play, he's like, look, okay, I got to go out here and do what I have to do. Not the perfect game, as you said. Didn't hit any threes. But still, man, he took over the game when he needed to. Uh, he realized that they needed to get Wes Matthews involved. Yeah. Made some nice dimes. His first shot, get him a shot. Then you see what happened after that. Uh, going to the bucket in the post. That's something that LeBron has added to his game that he didn't always do a lot of. He goes out in that post. Little jump hooks and things like that collapsing the defense. He's a smart player, and like I don't think he had 100% of his energy tonight, but he still produced enough to carry his team. You know what? I, I, it's a play in the first half where he drove, and he could have put the shot up, but he kicked the coos in the corner for a three, and I'm sitting there saying to myself, there is not one megastar in the league that wouldn't, that's not a point guard, that wouldn't try to get that shot up. Because it's the end of the clock, that's like a free play. You know, if you check out Kuz, at the end of the clock, Kuz gonna shoot that ball, regardless of what's going on. Yeah. But LeBron had the, the presence of mind to kick it out for a wide open three, and the guy knocked it down. And that's what you have to love about him. He's not a selfish ball player. He's a guy who's trying to make his teammates better, and he's trying to get them involved. And that's one of the things that so many people criticize him about. But yo, I would have loved to play for this guy because he's gonna make everybody on his team better. And just to show you just how connected this team is, there was a few minutes when LeBron went out of the game, if I'm not mistaken. And it was critical, and they still kept it together. They went to Montrez. That actually had a nice you run. Know, yeah, they had a nice run, and together. they increased the lead, I think, from that point. So you, you know that that's uh, team building, and, you know, LeBron has, you know, injected that, that mentality into his teammates. And uh, I, th I thought it was a really good span.